Quickly now to Kane Williams. Roberts, Allen, Williams, Boyce, and Sosemi. And Corey Allen gets Georgia State started with a three. You know, the, Pan the Panthers are going to have to do exactly what Justin Roberts is doing right now. Attack the basket. Good finish with contact on the right-hand side with opportunity to finish the three. They work the ball in the middle of King. Powers up inside. Blocked from behind by Eliel Sosemi. Hey, man, this guy has been aggressive. We talked about on a number of other broadcasts about his willingness to take it the game slow and let it come to him, but as of late, he's been very aggressive. Down low to JoJo, nice strong move, driving layup off the window is good. JoJo Toppin. <laughs> Shovel pass into the corner, Roberts for three, up and good. Justin's now hit back-to-back -back threes. Panthers up by 13 again. Here's Tucker driving it all the way, blocked out of bounds by JoJo Toppin. Here's Corey Allen into the lane, down low to Eliel. Easy layup underneath, he got the inside position on the defender. Colin Moore, strong in the lane, counted in the lane for Colin Moore. Corey Allen up against the buzzer, good! Corey Allen, wow. right up against the final buzzer, <laughs> knocks down a three. That's his fourth made three-point field goal here in the half, and Georgia State will go to the locker room with a 43-28 advantage. They get it inside Jalen Thomas. Jalen, nice. jump hook in the lane with the left hand is up and good. Baseline, Ryan Boyce from about eight feet up and good. Kane Williams thinking about it. Now gets into the paint, goes up, shot off the window, good. How did he get that up over the outstretched arm of Smart? Corey Allen will let it fly, it's up and good. 20 on the night for Corey Allen. And Georgia State's gonna dribble it out for their sixth win of the year. Panthers gonna go to six and one on the season. He has one of the best starts in school history. Congratulations to the Panthers. Getting off to a 6-1 record to start the 2020-2021 campaign. Now they'll get a chance to rest up, heal their bodies, and get ready for January 1st against Coastal Carolina here in the Georgia State Sports Arena.